I've been in the coffee business a long time, and I know that there's a lot to know about what makes a cup of coffee really good. And when you're out there trying to buy a coffee grinder for home use, it can be tough because there's so many options. So we went and we reviewed all those options. And after a long time of analyzing particle distribution and double blind tastings, we've determined that there's some pretty quick and easy decisions you can make as a buyer to get yourself the best cup of coffee at home possible. So we chose a bunch of different grinders to review for home use, specifically for drip slash pour over and French press only, not espresso. Espresso gets kind of complicated because there's just some more demands to it, kind of like there's more demands to a commercial grinder than a home grinder. There's two basic main types of grinders, and that's gonna be the blade grinder and the burr grinder. Blade grinders, bad, burr grinders, good. That's like an easy take home to always remember about grinders. Uh, yeah, it's gonna cost you a little bit more money, but it's totally worth the investment in the long run just because your cup of coffee is always gonna taste that much better. One of the big things to look at in grinders that we found was really important was stepped versus stepless. And that means you have discrete settings of one, two, three, four, and five in a stepped version. So if it's stepless, you have an infinite number of settings, and if it's stepped, you really only have 20 settings. So one of the awesome tools we got to use to do this testing was this very neat Kruve or Kruve sifter set. Basically a set of really fine screens suspended one above the other. And you can put your coffee grounds in this thing, and you shake it around, and it'll tell you how many particles are bigger than the screen you put in and how many particles are smaller than it. And therefore, we can analyze the particle distribution. We use the settings we determined from our Cruve sifter set, set tests. We brewed a single cup of V60 on each grinder using the setting we had determined. And then we brewed a single cup on French press using each of those grinders and the settings we determined. Then we blind tasted each one of them in a row. It was a lot of fun. I got really caffeinated. But at the end of the day, what you care about is a good tasting cup of coffee that's not complicated, easy to use. All those things came into account when we were testing. And the Bodum won. The Bodum Bistro is an awesome grinder. We found that it had plenty of settings for us to play with, to choose from. The settings that we did choose from it ended up making us a great V60 pour over and a great French press. It looks good on your counter, takes up a small footprint, doesn't take a huge dent in your wallet, and at the end of the day, just makes a great cup of coffee. The Breville Smart Grinder Pro is kind of getting a great reputation in the coffee world. I've heard of it even before this test as being a really high testing grinder. And we definitely found that it has an incredible amount of options available. If you are a coffee nerd, you can play with this thing and get all kinds of results out of it uh, up to your heart's, heart's content. But for ease of use and just getting a great easy cup of coffee out, the Bodum actually beat it out in the test. So they're both great grinders, they're both awesome. I would be happy to have either one of them in my house. But if I want to really experiment with a lot of different brewing methods, if I want to get the perfect cup every day, yeah, I might go with the Breville for all the different options it has. We picked out our two best grinders pretty easily, but the rest of the grinders all fell into the runner-up category, and some of them were pretty clearly not as well made and didn't make as good a cups of coffee. The cheap construction of some of them led us to believe that over time, that durability was not going to hold up. During our testing, we had some buttons fall off, which is pretty remarkable given that they were fresh out of the box, and we found them hard to find a good usable setting to make a good cup of coffee. It can be very misleading when you have 20 settings 
but only four of them group into the particle distribution that's what we consider usable. So I really appreciate it when consumers like you take the effort to learn about the product they're gonna buy to try to make the best product that they can make for themselves at home. And that's what we've tried to do in this video. That's what we've tried to do in this review. And I think we've got some really great information for you. Thank you so much for watching.